Hello Internet, Dave here. The next build in my Let's Build series is this, the Transit Gundam Glacier from the original Gundam Build Fighters Season 1. This belongs to Team Lapras Lupius. They were like the um, main antagonist, if you will, um, anti-hero, you know, the, the, the opposite team. This is a special edition one, even though it's still a higher grade model. It has a special purple star finish to it. It is once again a close combat Gundam, based on the Gundam 00 or Gundam XCF from Gundam 00, uh, another anime series. The uh, purple gives an extra sort of ethereal space look and looks rather nice when fully assembled. I'm going to unbox this, get it all open, get it all ready to be built, and then we'll start the build. May you enjoy this one too. There we are, set up and ready. Once again, I'll be splitting this down into three parts. Uh, beginning with the body and head bit, I'm going to do my best to not make any mistakes like I did with the last one. Okay, so I'm going to start with E4 and two PC2s. So E. checking to make sure that there's none of these little novel things. Love it. And then PC2, we do. These are the bits for the arms. I reckon where they're going to fit in when it's finished. There we are. The reason I chose to do this particular Gundam uh, next is I just like the look of it, to be honest. That's one of the many points of model making. It's not only doing something because you know you're co you're collecting it, but also because you like the uh, you like the look of it, like the way it looks, the way it, the way it feels, or the story behind that particular um, Gundam in this case, or train, or unit of soldiers, whatever it be, plane, ship. No point in just building stuff for the sake of building, unless you are, you know, just wanting to do something different. Um, I still want to know if you guys want me to do paneling for the finished model, which will make it look even nicer than normal. Well, paneling, it's, um, what is paneling? Paneling is a kind of marker, uh, especially designed for the Gundams, where you can highlight certain areas, make them stand out, bring it really to life. Oh, that was E11 I put on the back. Which is also C8. Which is... There. Yeah. It's... It's, it is relaxing. I find this really relaxing. Helps calm my mind after a long day at work or my days off, and you know I've got nothing else to do. Don't feel like going out. And uh, just helps me relax. Don't worry, I have been outside the house. I don't just stay in here and do this all day. I can see where the arms are going to go on. Don't I need a sticker for that bit? No, I don't. That's fine. So we're going to find our first purple bit on the lovely A1, number 30. This is to highlight where the uh, core would be for this unit. Now, unlike other Gundams, the ones based on the Double Zero series had something called a EM ejector, or better known as Transan system. Special type of uh, energy that interfered with radiation, but also doubled the machine's speed, maneuverability, and strength for a limited time. 
However, it did drain the power reserves of that machine quite badly. So when Trans Am finished, you were left in a disadvantaged position. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. That's what the basis of Trans Am. Once again, there are many documents about Gundam, about Trans Am, all that kind of stuff. If you want to know more about it, by all means, look it up. I'll put some links for like the Gundam Wiki in my description, which will help you if you wanted to know more about it. You don't have to, of course. You could always just watch the animated series. Series is of Gundam. The many, many Gundam series. It was one of the um, first single robot series from Japan, uh, Gundam Mobile Suit, the original. Before that, it was all like the combination tran and transforming robots that combined together, with multiples of five normally, uh, like Voltron, um, stuff like that. I believe this was uh, Gundam was first aired in 1980. It's not dated too badly, to be honest with you. I still watch it from time to time, the original series. It's got some better um, dubbing than some of the uh, American stuff or the uh, other Japanese stuff that we had over at the time. Uh, Transformers, for example. If you watch the original series of Transformers, some of the dubbing is quite bad, like when Optimus Prime is speaking, sometimes it's Megatron speaking. When Starscream is speaking, sometimes it's uh, like Soundwave. It's really quite interesting to see all the little bits and how it changed over the years. Still do to this, to this day. I haven't watched much of Iron Blooded Orphans, to be honest. The uh, latest Gundam series. I didn't even get past season one of um, Gundam Double Zero. To be completely honest with you, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. I think it's because of the time restrictions I had at, at the time I was um, that came out. I now obviously live away from what I did before, and I, uh, I thoroughly enjoy every moment that I have. That bit does go on first. Um, what was I saying? The main difference, because there's two versions of this one, the main difference is one is a blue colour and one is a nice, I see a nice purple, you see the, you see the shine on that and transparency on that. When it eventually is all put together it will be quite awesome. Give me a tick while I figure this one out. It's right, I figured it out. These little pegs here go into there like that. It does look quite awesome, if I just say so myself. It is, um, it's relaxing, I must admit. What do you, what do you guys like doing in your spare time? You know? Do you, do you read? Do you cycle? Do you play video games? Do you build Gundams? Do you build anything at all? Be nice to know if you uh, if you're a fellow builder. And if so, what do you build? What else would you like me to see build on uh, on my channels? Any particular Gundams that you want me to build? Please do comment and uh, see what I can do for you. Because obviously, what I want to do for my channel is make it. A community basis rather than just 
doing something that I want to do, I want to have feedback, you know? I would like for us to, uh, to get along with each other. To communicate, to grow as a community. That's why I still, I will still do my philosophy videos. There will be another one of those out for too long. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the philosophy. Is that what this channel is mainly set up for? No. Uh, that is, believe it or not, the body done. The front bit. It is, once again, as I say, a rather beautiful model when it is will when it will be finished. Especially with all the uh, transcendent purple there. Moving on to the uh, the head bit next. There it is. Bit of the head that I want. Careful. See with practice comes uh, comes goodness. The, the old saying, practice makes perfect, but the only problem is, if you practice something imperfectly, then it will not be perfect. You have to practice perfectly to make perfect. Uh, you're probably like, what? But, but, but hear me out. Perfect practice makes perfect. Not so standard, not half hearted, but perfect practice. But to practice perfectly to be perfect. But perfection is very difficult to attain. Because what is perfection? Perfection is always moving away from us. Oh, hang on, I'm going into one of my philosophy videos. <laughs> Well, booed in this. This is where most of my um, thoughts come from. Simply building. Building things. Sitting. Looking out of the window. Focusing on what's going on around me. Enjoying the view of the world. I'm wondering how better to interact with it. Lovely, I like that bit. Okay, so I have to be very careful on this next bit. Very careful indeed, because this could go horribly wrong. problem with these um, seafood models and the seafood parts they are very very difficult let's check him over yep he's good it's gonna need some stickers on him for his eyes so you can see where his eyes are eyes I don't know what that was but you've been at the end of the Translation, I don't know what happened there, but I think the Devonshire came out. Ever so slightly. Ooh. Most fiddly bit are these little stickers. Yeah, I'm happy with that.
nearly done with the head unit. Just need one final part of E and A2 to finish this off. It's in number 13, unlucky for some, not for me. Which is all suspicion. Superstition even. Not suspicion, that's something completely different. Instructions say that this bit gets off away. Not supposed to be there. Lovely jumpy. And then that means this particular one. Down. You can actually see the outline roughly where the stick is gonna go. Then that bit goes. Ooh, and more. Look at that. That was going to interfere with the connection. In there. Look at that. And then pop them on there. There we go. Nod the head, shake the head, do the roundy roundy things. So that is the body and head unit done of the Transit Gundam Glacier from Gundam Bill Fighters. Look out for part two, where we'll be doing the arms, and then part three will be the waist and legs. Till next time, and this is Dave. I love my Gundams. I just wish I could pilot one.